It's on the New York Times now, so we gotta say something, right? FBI's urgent request, reboot your router to stop Russia-linked malware. Now, this is just a post talking about the recent analysis by Cisco Talos of the VPN filter malware. Now, this is basically a router-based malware, which, yes, they do exist. Windows is not the only vulnerable system. I keep putting this out there again and again. People just like to ignore it and keep going back to saying that, no, it's only Windows that can be exploited. It's not true. doesn't matter what operating system you run, there are ways to exploit it. It's just that Windows is targeted very often, so it makes the news and everything. But getting back to the point, this is a malware that infects routers, switches, all sorts of network devices, and deploys in different stages. Like the first stage is just the loader, which is a persistent stage. So it first infects devices with the persistent loader, which survives reboot, so it can keep spreading and infecting other devices. And stage two is the deployment phase, where it takes control of the device and management functions and can actually screw up your network. Hence the request to reboot. Although I would personally recommend reinstalling the firmware of your router. Now it's important to note that when they say reboot, they also mean factory reset because that would reset the firmware. I would recommend just patching it up, getting the new firmware and restarting, which should get rid of the malware, at least temporarily. There is not a lot of public information right now in this analysis. I mean, it is a pretty in-depth analysis, but it's kind of funny. Like, they don't exactly mention certain aspects, like why they're sure that their intelligence agencies or Russian intelligence backing the malware that it is a state-sponsored attack. But I guess that kind of information is maybe going to be a little bit secret. But all major router um, manufacturer devices are affected. So regardless of whether you have Linksys, uh, Netgear, you should just go through this process. It's mostly going to affect corporate networks. That's going to be the main attack. But if you have any of these devices at home, you should do that. Now, another problem is your ISP may be infected. So if the device that is your gateway or that you're using to connect to the internet is on the ISP end and they end up getting infected, that could also possibly disrupt service on your devices too. So if you've been facing some major internet outages recently, this could be part of the reason. It has affected a lot of devices, more than 500,000 at the moment, which is kind of scary, like how fast this kind of malware can propagate. There are components of this malware which can potentially steal stuff like information and transfer it to their CN, uh, C2 uh, C the command and control servers. I like that uh, wording better. But again, there's still a lot of um, shade as to, ah, see what I did there? Shade ransomware, anybody remember? But what I'm trying to say is there's still a lot of uncertainty as to who exactly is controlling this and what do they want other than just causing widespread disruption. It's a very versatile malware. It can do a lot of things. So it's still unclear as to how it's going to be primarily used. But as a user, you know what to do. Here is a graph of the VPN filter infections. As you can see, there's like a huge spike all of a sudden. And that is probably when it was deployed with intent. Now, ClamAV does have signatures for it. If you have some sort of firmware that allows you to scan, then just, you know, go ahead and scan it because Cisco Talos have added these signatures. But this is one of those more traditional sneaky type of malware attacks where they don't want you to know, or it's not just like, hey, you know, look, I, I ruined your system. Wow, like it's not that kind of silly nonsense. It's more uh, subtle and more deliberate. So it does suggest that they're quote unquote professionals behind it. Whether or not they're state sponsored, I don't know. But like since everybody seems to say it's Russia, but then again, they do that every time. It's like, I, I'm not going to make any comment on that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Oh, so I'm not going to make a comment, but you guys are. Don't forget to like and share if you enjoyed the video. Sorry for the long delay. It's just that I've not been well and there hasn't been a lot of interesting stuff to cover in the last couple of weeks, but I will be back and making more videos when I can. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Thank you for watching and as always, stay informed, stay secure.